again. So this tutorial is going to be for just a normal single crochet. Um, it's the, probably the most basic crochet stitch you um, can use. And of course I'm going to be using a J hook. It's a bigger size. It's a six millimeter. And I'm doing that just because um, it's easier for the stitches to show up if they're bigger. This is just some scrap yarn I'm going to be using. So to do the slip knot, I already showed it in my other video for the double crochets, but I'm just going to do, um, I guess the one a lot of people do. So I'm just going to wrap this over and grab that right there and pull it. <laughs> And, um, I think that's what a lot of people do. I'm actually going to show you what I do because to me it's just easier, but it, this might be easier to you. Whatever you want to do, as long as you can get it done, right? So I just put my hook there and I wrap this yarn around once. Just like that. And then basically I do a chain stitch. So I just wrap my hook around and go through there and then pull that tight. That's just how I do it. Um, so there's other ways to do it, but that's just the one I like. So I'm going to do some chain stitches. Wrap your, your yarn around and you just pull through your loop. They're very basic. These are, um, I'm just going to do a few of these. Yarn over, pull through your loop. Yarn over, pull through a loop. Yarn over, pull through a loop. How many did I do? One, two, three, four. I'm gonna do three just to make ten. Alright, so there's my chain stitch. This is a foundation chain. Um, there's other ways to do foundation chains, but this is the easiest one. This is the most widely used one. So to do a single, um, you're gonna skip this first chain right here. You're not going to wrap your, your uh, yarn around your hook either. So you're just going to skip that one and you're going to go into the second chain from the hook. So you're just going to put your hook in there. And then you're going to wrap your yarn around and pull through that. So now you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through those two loops. And that's your first single crochet. So let's do some more. So put your hook in. Yarn over, pull up a loop. You've got two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both those loops. So we're just going to do a couple more. Two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through both of those. So that's how your single crochets are starting to look. You're just going to do the rest of these so I can show you how to do to turn to do your next row insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop got two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two same thing Yarn over, pull through two. One more, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. So that's how your single crochets should start looking. Now to do, to turn and to start on your next row, you're only gonna chain one. So yarn over and pull through the loop. They got one chain. Turn your work. In that first stitch right here, you're going to start your next row of single crochets. So put your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You got two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. And you just continue to do that all the way down to the end of the row. And put it in your next stitch. Yarn over and pull through two. Got 
got a couple more. Okay, we got two more. So the last one's going to be hard to see. So there's my second to last. And this last one is right here. So I'll take that out. You can kind of see it. And um, a good tip, especially if you're first starting to crochet, is you want to keep count of your stitches. It is so easy to lose count of stitches, and then you'll end up with a different number than you should have. So especially if you're young, uh, if you're young, if you're starting to, <laughs> if you're starting to uh, just learn how to crochet, you want to definitely keep count of stitches. It definitely helps. All right, there we go. That's one of the easiest crochet stitches out there. It's just your single crochet. A lot of patterns will have this. So I'm going to take that out and lay it flat. And there you go. So I hope you like this. Please let me know if there's any particular stitches you would like me to show you how to do. Um, I will go step by step just like I've done here. Um, hit the subscribe button and if you want to see any of my new videos coming out, I'll be posting the second part of my tutorial for that one top I was creating. Um, just let me know in the comments. Alright, y'all have a good one. Bye bye.